Do your sun visors look like this? This is how mine came when I bought it last year. And today I'm gonna try to install a fix. Came across a guy named Chad on Facebook who makes little 3D printed covers for the mirrors on the back of your sun visors that typically break off on these older cars. Usually the only way to fix this is by replacing the entire sun visor. Well, Chad came up with an ingenious solution of 3D printing just the cover that snaps off. So I just got this package in the mail from him. So let's check them out. All right, this is what I got. Tells me he 3D prints these uh, just for fun and to give him something to do. He said the plastic material is made from sugar cane. So when we look closely at our mirror assembly here, I can see a little metal detent that is holding these on and this side has one small pin sticking out. And if I look at the visor provided, we have a hole that accepts that pin on this side and another one over here. So my pin is probably actually broken on this side. It should be just as easy as sliding this over the pin and then pressing it in on this side and lowering it. But while I was trying to test this out, my pin apparently broke off in here. And uh, so let me show you what it should be like. It's really hard to close around the edges. It's a tight fit to kind of snap it in like that. And uh, at first I was trying to push this down, but it makes sense that this stays proud of the little gap here. So you have a way to grab it, to open it. But if you're gonna be opening and closing this a lot, I would not recommend getting these because it is fragile and it's really hard to open and get closed again. But if you are doing what I'm doing, and never use them and just using it as a uh, cover to make it look prettier. I definitely think that this looks better than this when you're driving around. So if that's the case, then I can recommend getting these. So on my other side, I still have one pin left and it is uh, very difficult to press it on. I've been pushing pretty hard on this for a while. Uh, gingerly trying not to break my last remaining pin but um, discovered from the other side that even if you have no pins it will still snap in here and uh, be a fix for you obviously if I break the other pin off it's not gonna matter too much because eh, it's gonna look like this anyway and after coming to that realization and not caring I just pressed really hard and it went in and into the pin just fine, I think. Uh, we'll see here. So, okay, well, it sounded like it went in fine. It actually snapped the back of this off. So uh, it should still go on. Let's see. Let's test my theory. Let's test my th theory. And I can still snap it in here. Okay, as 
long as I never went to open them, I'm good. Uh, I do like the way they look a lot better than just having a mirror there. It does look a little more finished. So overall, I'm happy. And for the price of just shipping, you can't beat that. So I just messaged Chad about the opening being a tiny bit too small and he suggested taking the tip of a soldering iron and sticking it in there and that'll melt it open just a little bit larger. I'll go ahead and put Chad's contact information below in the description if you want to get a hold of him and have him send some of these out to you. Chad does not make these to make money. He sent these to me and a couple other guys just for the cost of shipping. He does it in his spare time just to try to help the community and uh, keep himself busy. So thanks, Chad. I really appreciate it. If anybody out there has any other ideas or suggestions for me, go ahead and put them down below in the description. And if there's anything else you want to see, also let me know and I'll keep the Boxster content coming.